Hello, welcome back to Slowpoke Divas TV. Um, I'm your host, Bonnie Parrish Kell, and this is my uh, next video in the 2023 National Senior Games pre race um, review where I'm going to be talking about the 5K race walk because um, we've got quite a few women um, who have signed up and we actually have over 200 women who have signed up for the the walking events at the games that start this weekend and now we're going to get into the race walk 5k um, we've got uh, two women who have who are entered in the 5k for the age group 50 to 54 Andrea Everard from Delaware she has signed up for both power walk and race walk and all of the distances so she will have already done two races the day before and now she's going to do a race walk 5k followed by a power walk 5k so it's going to be interesting to see how she does now her competitor is Fiona Levy and I'm just taking a look here on my spreadsheet, my information and like that. Um, Fiona is a dark horse. I don't have any information on her. Uh, and she is from Massachusetts. So I don't have a time on her. Um, she has not participated in any prior National Senior Games. Whereas um, Andrea did compete last year where she finished um, second in the 5K with a time of 37 minutes and 48.60 seconds. So pretty doggone fast because um, I don't remember even breaking 50 minutes in the 5k but I'm the slowpoke diva the next um, group the 50 to 55 we have nine women who have signed up and um, Sandra Vance from Tennessee and Gina Booth from Missouri um, they're going to be um, chasing Amber Tidwell who Amber has, let's see, yeah, she was first in the, the 5K in the women's 55 with a time of 34 minutes, 24.16 seconds. Uh, Sandra, uh, she was sixth in the women's 55 with a time of 57 minutes, 8.56 seconds. Um, Gina, uh, she was fifth last year with a time of 46 minutes, 42.41 seconds. Um, just to let you know, because I'll be spitting out a lot of names and times and places and like that. Um, do look for the uh, my blog post on slowbookdivas.com where I'll have a lot of this information where, it's, where you can read it. Because, I mean, I... I enjoy all of this detail and I hope you do as well because if nothing else it will help you know well what time you need to beat if you want to become very competitive for for the rest of us like myself I'm always trying to do my best in the moment and then celebrate everyone's accomplishments so now let's take a look at the women's uh, 60 to 64 and in this one we have um, 12 women uh, let's see what my notes say because I do try to be as accurate as possible and sometimes it doesn't work out that way um, Lori Groom um, she will be leading the field uh, last year she was in fourth place with a time of 35 minutes 21 seconds and Five milliseconds so that's 35 minutes 21.05 seconds she'll be the one to look uh, to be watching um, 
because the rest of the women who have signed up um, are new faces. So this is really cool. There are more women, and this is the thing about the senior games, as um, maturing women discover this lifestyle, um, a lot more come into the sport, and it's just a lot of fun to be able to see that. Uh, the women's 65, big group, big group. Um, I got two sheets of paper because there's so many uh, women, uh, women in 65 who are doing power walk as well. A couple women, Barbara Kaysen, C-A-S-O-N. She is returning for her third National Senior Games. Uh, last year, she was sixth in her age group with a time of 36 minutes, 47.87 seconds. Uh, third place was Anne Hegstrom. She is from Iowa. Uh, her, her time was 36 minutes, 0.95 seconds. Elaine McManus and Margaret Mil Milner, um, they all did really well last year. Ellen McManus, she did um, the Huntsman World Senior Games last year, and her 5K was 35, uh, 35 minutes, 46 seconds. Um, and St. George, Utah, they're about the same elevation as Las Vegas, which is anywhere between 24 and 2,800 feet. Oh, yes, and we have Carrie Siegel who is, um, again, the one to beat. Because last year she won both the 1500 meter and the 5K in her age group. Her time last year was 33 minutes, 59.39 seconds. And her, her um, 1500 meter uh, race walk was under 10 minutes at nine minutes 29.74 seconds. So, and she she's the one that I think everyone's going to be chasing. Um, back in 2019 in Albuquerque, she was second in both uh, race walk events. The 1500 meters, she was at nine twenty uh, nine minutes 22.95 seconds, and second in the 5K race walk at 33 minutes 15.18 seconds. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see um, if she can defend and who might be ready to take that first place. Um, but uh, an early congratulations to everyone in that age group for towing the line and doing their best job possible. Women's seventy to seventy four. We've got thirteen women and. W one of which is Karen Swisher. Uh, Karen won the event last year in Fort Lauderdale, and she won the event in 2019 in Albuquerque for the National Senior Games. And the thing is, she was only s like seven seconds off her time between 2019 and 2022. Um, her time in Albuquerque was 32 minutes, 30.35 seconds. Last year, it was 32 minutes, 37.95 seconds. So she is the one um, that everyone, I, I think, everyone will be, quote, chasing. Um, again, uh, Joanne Freund. Uh, she had placed third in the 5K with a time of 34 minutes, 37.77 seconds. She had also um, competed at the Huntsman World Senior Games in St. George. She did not do the 5K, but she placed second behind Mar Marianne Martino, who is an international race walk competitor. Um, her Mar Marianne's finishing time was 9 minutes 30.32 seconds, whereas Joanne's time was 9 minutes 55.57 seconds. So 
speedy, speedy women in the age group of 70, 74. Just because you hit your 70s doesn't mean you're going to be slowing down any. Um, and also, when you get into the 75, doesn't mean that you'll be slowing down either. Women's 75, and this is a, another competitive age group. Now, we've got five women. We have five women who are doing the 5K, whereas um, we only have three doing the 1500 the day before. Um, my my favorite, I'm hoping will win, is Racewalk co-director for the National Senior Games this year, Kathy Frabel out of St. George, Utah. Uh, Kathy's a great gal. Uh, she's also fast. She does international competitions. I gotta go with my peeps, you know? I gotta root for my people. So I'm hoping, I'm wishing her the best. Diane Thurman, who's in that age group out of Washington State, she had finished third in 2019 with a time of 37 minutes, 36.02 seconds. Um, Kathy Frabel, she had come in second with a time of 39 minutes, 39.45 seconds. So it's going to be interesting to see how Diane's time from 2019 translate over to this year. It's going to be really, really interesting. But um, I tell you, you just don't slow down when you're age 75. Um, if you can, if, what happens is if somebody cannot keep the forward legs straight for whether it's aging, injury, knee replacement, whatever the case might be, a lot of times they will move over to power walk uh, where that front leg straight requirement is not held. So let's get now get into the women 80 to 84 age group. And this is going to be a lot of fun because um, we have three women who have who are entered. We've got Miriam Jacobs, we have Marilyn Kessler, and we have Jimmy Jimmy Sue Ponchiella out of Kansas. Um, as I may mention in the 1500 meter uh, video, it's going to be a challenge race between Miriam Jacobs and Marilyn Kessler in this women's 80 to 84 age group. And here's the reason. In 2019 in Albuquerque, in the 1500 meter race walk, Marilyn beat Miriam by 0 0.04 seconds. Marilyn's time was 12 minutes, 11.67 seconds. Miriam's time was 12 minutes, 11.71 seconds. Just, just, just that close. Then in the 5K, they flipped rolls. That's when Miriam finished the 5K in 41 minutes, 47.03 seconds. Marilyn finished in 42 minutes, 23.78 seconds. So just because you're in your 80s doesn't mean that a 5K is going to be slower than 50 minutes, 55 minutes, an hour. I am still dreaming of hitting a 42 minute mark. These women are incredible. So we're going to have to see how it all plays out this week. And so stay tuned. I will be posting all, the res all of the results as I get them. Make sure if you're also um, interested in these walking races, I will be covering Power Walk, both the 1500 meter and also the 5K in separate videos. 
because like I said, we have got a lot of women in all of these age groups. I'm also going to be covering cycling and triathlons, so keep an eye out on that as well. I'll have a lot of this information posted on the website and my website, slowpokedivas.com, in the next few days. And, as always, like, share, comment, love to keep the conversation going, and most of all, keep us all inspired to be the best that we can, athletically or fitness-wise. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.